All right. Welcome back, guys. I'm Jake Ellenbogen. Be sure to follow me at JK Bogan on all social media. Like, subscribe, and comment, and let's dive in. So, uh, look, Cooper Cup, injury update. He's got a low ankle sprain. All right. First and foremost, I understand there are a lot of people that kind of looked at yesterday and said the offense was better off without Cooper Cup. Uh, there are people that think he should be traded. Let's not lose sight of the fact he's still one of the best in the game at his position. Let's not lose sight of the fact that the Rams are four and six, and they're going to have potentially a 30% chance of making the playoffs when, you know, going into that week 12 matchup against the Arizona Cardinals, depending on how the Thursday night football games go. But if they want to make the playoffs, they're going to need Cooper cup. And I will agree with you. I think this offense has been a little, uh, underwhelming with Cooper Cup. I think it's been predictable and hasn't been as creative. And then when Cup's out, it seems like that's when Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford get more creative. But um, they're going to have to figure it out because he's going to be a key for them getting further into you know the season and, and getting to the playoffs. And look, Cooper Cup, low ankle sprain. What does this mean? Um, well, typically, you know, he can return to play. Uh, he tried to return to play. He had a, a full uniform on on the sideline. That's normally a good indicator that he's does he didn't suffer a serious injury um, because, you know, full uniform coming out of the locker room. He seemed very eager to get back in. I think it was a precautionary thing to hold him out. I think he'll be good to go this week. Now, he's going to get more tests and everything just to make sure, but I think he's going to be good to go this week. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a team doctor, and I'm not in the Rams organization, but um, I think the Rams could have him against the the Cardinals. If they don't have him against the Cardinals and they're holding him out uh, for the Week 13 matchup against the Browns, that's really what that means. Um, but I think he can go this week. If he re-aggravates it, um, you know, which is by the way, very likely if you have an ankle sprain, it's likely to have another one. Um, if he re aggravates this low ankle, uh, it would be like a two week time frame uh, of how he would miss. Uh, normally with a high ankle sprain, it's a six to eight week thing. Uh, it lingers, um, you know, ankle sprains linger, but a high ankle sprain is really bad. So, it's good to see that cup kind of dodged a bullet there. In my opinion, he very much dodged a bullet. What does this mean for the Rams? If he goes this week, it doesn't really mean much. He'll be heavily taped. Um, you know, you're going to have to try and get him involved with everybody else and try to keep this a creative offense. Uh, Kyron Williams does come back this week, so that's great news. Um, so we'll we'll see what ends up happening there. But um, it really just means that his ankle would be heavily taped. Uh, however, if he doesn't come back this week, expect Puka Nakua, expect Tutu Atwell, Austin Trammell, uh, De, you know, Demarcus Robinson, Ben Skoranek, those guys uh, to get the workload. Um, when Cooper Cup left the game, I thought it was really telling how Austin Trammell stepped up in a big way. Uh, you saw him, you know, his blocking on that Puka Nakua reverse run. Um, you know, you you saw, you know, De, Demarcus Robinson <clears throat> catching his first pass of the season for over 20 yards. Huge play. You know, you saw different things like that. I think right now the Rams are just going to try and go the all hands on deck approach if they don't have cup. What needs to be said is if cup does play, things need to change. You can't be having these long developing passing plays. You can't be having nobody, uh, no underneath route option, no underneath, um, you know, read option for Stafford. Uh, no, you know, like there needs to be a check down in the middle of the field when there's not. A lot of the time last week or this past, you know, yesterday, I guess, Matthew Stafford was either sacked or pressured because they were coverage based. He's looking downfield and he's got Devin Witherspoon down there who's going to potentially win defense rookie of the year. He's got Trey Brown who's playing at a very high level and doesn't get talked about because of the other guys. And then he's got um, Reek Woolen. That's a really, really good trio of corners. And so the Rams are having a hard time getting open. And a lot of them were deep down the field. These long developing passing plays, the pressure gets to you. Boye Mafe had seven straight sacks. Okay. Seven games in a row with a sack going into this one. You, you look at the pressure up front. They got Leonard Williams. I mean, it, it makes it easier on them. So the Rams really played into their hand. And then towards the end of the game, they started getting a little bit more diverse in, in their approach. That's what they need to do. And so I look at this game 
upcoming. If there's no Cooper Cup, continue to do what you did. Get Tutu Atwell involved deep down the field. You know, use all areas of the field, the sidelines, the middle of the field, the the short, intermediate, the deep ball. Use it all. You know, you have Kyron Williams coming back. You know, run with confidence with him. Use him in the passing game. Use Daryl Henderson. Mix it up with Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman could add that power element uh, to the running back room. So use it. Um, they're going to have to pull out all the stops if Cooper Cup is out. And if Cooper Cup's not out and he does play, then they have to be able to change what they're doing. They have to use more underneath routes. They have to open up the the rest of the playbook. I mean, it feels very one-dimensional when Cooper Cup is in there, and it's not his fault. He's not making the Rams worse. They have just struggled getting him involved uh, because when they get him involved, it's at the expense of everybody else on the roster. That has to change. They have to do a better job of this. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, Again, I think my prediction would be Cooper Cup does play on Sunday against the Cardinals. I think too much is at stake. Um, I can't see him missing that game. The Rams are looking at potential five and six uh, potential start to a turnaround here. That would be two and zero coming out of the bye. Um, you know, the Rams again, their, their playoff odds will continue to go up and Seattle has a murder's row of a schedule upcoming four games in a row. They just, they play against really, really good NFC teams, teams that could really just bury them. The Rams, uh, the, the Rams beat them. The 49ers could beat them. Then you have the Cowboys hardest place to play right now is Dallas. They're one of the best home field advantages in football. And, uh, you know, then you have, you know, the 49ers again. And then you have, of course, the Eagles to wrap up that murderous row before then taking a quick pit stop with the Titans. Then you have the Steelers and then you finish the season in Arizona. Seattle is playing for their lives right now. And there is blood in the water. There's a lot of injuries that they're dealing with. Gino isn't 100 percent. Now you have Kenny Walker who might miss with an oblique injury. This is the opportunity for teams to bury them in the NFC. Same kind of with the Vikings. Now, again, the Vikings are in a better position than they are, but they are without Kirk Cousins. We don't know what the deal is with Justin Jefferson, but coming off the bye, would imagine that, you know, they'll get him back. It will be very fascinating to see how this thing goes down. Um, I'll say this right now. The Rams are in a really good spot. With or without Cooper Cup, I think they can get it done. But you don't want to sit there and say, yeah, you don't need Cooper Cup because I'm sorry. If you're trying to make a playoff push, you want all hands on deck. You want your best players possible. And Cooper Cup is one of your best players, if not the best player on your roster. I wouldn't say he's ahead of Donald, but he's up there. So that's that's a big thing here. Puka Nakua, the way he stepped up at the end of last game, will need to do that again. Kyron Williams ran for 158 yards against the Cardinals last time. He'll need to have something similar this time. The Rams can do this, but the Cardinals are, like the Seattle Seahawks, the Cardinals are a better team than they last faced. We'll see what happens, but that's my update for you guys. I'll keep you guys updated the more that comes out, but I I think Cooper Cup is going to play this week. I think the Rams dodged a bullet. It wasn't a high ankle. It wasn't a torn Achilles. It wasn't anything like that. It's a low ankle sprain. That's about the best news that you could get from something that looked decent yesterday something to definitely be somewhat worried about but we'll see how it goes but i'm jake ellenbogen you can follow me at jk bogan on all social media platforms and i'll see you guys in the next one later folks we start playing pick them or weekly fantasy for any sport today jake users will receive a hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars if they use promo code ote at sign up start playing pick them in weekly fantasy football today with underdog fantasy Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.